Hey there, good looking. Join me for this no repeat lower body strengthening workout. That's right, no repeats. We just got one round of everything. And then you're gonna wanna stick around to the very end. I have a really cool balance challenge that I wanna um, do with you. Now, you need some equipment for this workout. So please grab yourself what you consider are a pair of heavy dumbbells. For reference, I'm using 15s. And then a chair with um, some space underneath it. So if you don't have that though, don't worry because I'm gonna show you a workaround in an alternative screen. And then also if you have one of these small Pilates balls, um, grab that or any type ball of this diameter. And if you don't have any of that, no worries, just grab a really thick towel and roll it up and that's gonna work just fine. All right, and this is also, by the way, day four of our 12 days of Christmas challenge. You're gonna love today's workout, you guys. So gather your gear and let's go get started. Why, hello there. Hey, if you're unfamiliar with me, my name is PJ Ren, and I've been a certified personal trainer for close to three decades, specializing in women over the age of 40. And I'm over 50 myself, so hey, I'm living and breathing the dream myself. <laughs> All right, let's get warmed up. As we do, I'm gonna chat about the workout. Let's start down on the ground. If being on your knees um, bothers your knees, I want you to double up your mat, okay? Fingers apart, wrists under shoulders. Taking the left leg nice and slow, bring it in, and then abduct it away from the body, and bring it up so that the thigh is parallel to your floor, and slowly bring the knees back together. So let's do that again. Very slow, controlled articulation through the hip joint. Good. Now let's take it the other direction. Really exaggerate the range of motion. One more. Good, let's do the other hip, here we go. Start by bringing it forwards. Get that thigh parallel to your floor. Two times each direction, trying to keep the rest of the body pretty quiet as well. Here we go, let's go the other way. So we've had a ton of moves, you guys, as you usually do when it's a no repeat workout. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds to get set up. Release. Here we go, let's go back to that left leg. I want you to push the heel up towards the ceiling, thigh parallel to the floor, and then bring it back down. Push the heel up to your ceiling, bring it back down. So waking up the glutes here. One more. Now keep the leg up there and straighten the leg and bring the heel back to the bum. Now warming up into the hamstrings. So you're straightening the leg, bringing the heel back in. Last two, one. Left knee underneath the hip, right leg, press that heel up towards your ceiling, bring the knees back together. Press up, hips stay squared, bring them back down. Two more and then we'll hold the leg up there on that second one. So right here, hold it up, thigh parallel to the ground, and straighten the leg, and bend. Straighten, and bend. Three more. Last one, and come into a standing position. Beautiful. All right, take your hands light behind the ears. Let's do a squat position, and then as we come up, press the heel behind. Come up, other side. Pull those elbows back, good job. Knees tracking with the toes. See if we can sink down a little lower here, getting those knee joints warmed up. Last two, one more. Beautiful, keep your fingers there. Feet are now hip width. Push your bum back and give me a good morning. We're learning a hip hinge here because we will be doing some deadlifts. Pull the elbows back. Don't let those arms come down. Last 
Last two. One more. And shake out the arms. All right, we're gonna get busy in about 20 seconds, so grab a quick sip if you need it. Um, have your chair close by, all right? Um, again, if you don't have one, don't worry about it. There is gonna be a workaround for you. We're starting with a goblet squat press. So, um, pulse, pardon me. Grabbing onto one or two dumbbells. Smoosh them together if you're doing two. Feet wide, toes turned out. Now sink down to a squat. Now give me a double pulse and then drive up. Good. Take a peek, are the knees tracking with the toes? Good job, you. Coming down as low as it feels comfortable, but if we can get those hamstrings of yours parallel to the ground, that would be the best Christmas present ever. <laughs> For me. <laughs> Last 10 seconds. Time. All right, put the dumbbells down. Grab your chair. If you don't have one, you're going to pretend you have one, but you won't sit all the way down. Right leg only, left leg up. You're going to sink down into your chair and then press up. All right. So you can also kickstand this left toe on the ground to give you some assistance. If you're with me with the chair, don't let your bum just drop down. Control the movement for as long as you can and then there'll be a point of no return, but <laughs> try to keep that, those thighs engaged so the muscles are doing the work. All right, shake it out. So we're gonna do the other leg and it might surprise you the difference between the legs, okay? So kick stand if you need to and that just means you just tiptoe with that non-working leg to give your other side a little bit of assistance. Otherwise, you take it all the way down and up. How you doing? Did you find that you've got a muscle imbalance, one side stronger than the other? Yeah, I don't freak out. <laughs> we all have it. <laughs> so this type of training is going to work this out, right? Now we're going to give the knee joint a bit of a break. Our next exercise will be a deadlift. So we'll need those dumbbells in our hands again. All right, take the chair out of the way a little bit. Grab both the dumbbells. Now remember the hip hinge and the warm up, okay? That's the exact same thing for me. All right, so it's a hip hinge and then drive up, go. Shoulder blades pulled together. So it's gonna be this want to just let the arms go forward and that's gonna pull the shoulders out of alignment. So give me a little bit of pinch in the mid back. Standing all the way up. Last couple of reps here. All right, we'll put the right dumbbell down. Not that they're labeled left and right, but you want a dumbbell in the left hand, all right? From here, and you can hold on to the chair or wall if you need to, we're coming down to a one-legged deadlift, okay? Lifting the left leg. So whatever hand that dumbbell's in, that leg lifts behind us. Softness in the working leg, which is our right. We still have that hip hinge. So again, hold on to something if you're all over the place, but if you are all over the place, then you definitely need to stick around to the end of this workout because I've got some balance drills I want to do with you and ones that you may have never done before. So it's going to be cool. 
Christmas has come early if you're doing this in real time. <laughs> Keep those eyes focused on something stationary. That's going to help you. All right, here we go. Other side, 15 second break. So again, whatever hand the dumbbell is, that's the leg that's going to lift up. Here we go. Let's give it a try. Hip hinge. Good. Left leg lifts. Right leg's the working leg now. That one wants to be bent a bit. One more. All right, one or two dumbbells. If you're doing one, I'm gonna be doing only one. Hold on to it like so. All right, we're gonna take that left leg, go back into a reverse lunge, and then step it into a curtsy lunge, and then come back up. Okay, let's give it a try. And you go down as deep as it feels comfortable for the knees. Here we go, reverse, curtsy, together. Same leg, reverse, Curtsy, good. If the knees can and you're more advanced, you want that back knee coming really close to your floor. If you're holding on to dumbbell, two of the dumbbells, right? They're just down by your side. Now this curtsy, whoop, is a work in your balance too, at least mine. The curtsy is putting a little more emphasis in your glutes, which is kind of cool. And if you start to feel it in your knees a bit in that reverse lunge position, just hinge from the hips a little bit. Time. Now take some of it off the knees. Super cool way to turn a lunge from sort of a knee dominant to more of a hip dominant move. All right, so we've got the other leg. Ready? Three, two, one, step back, reverse lunge, and then stutter it over to curtsy, and then back to feet, hip width. Reverse, curtsy. Good. Now, we're using the chair, back of the chair, or you'll use back of a couch, or a wall close by. We just need something for balance for the next exercise. Just want you to wrap your head around that because we'll be doing that in about five seconds. <sighs> Time, Woo. All right, so something for support, yeah? Okay, cool. Now, we want to hip hinge, place the forearms if you've got a chair, take the left heel and press it back and knees together. So, it's a hip extension. Working glutes, bent knee, you'll get a bit of hamstring too. Now we want constant tension, so I don't want you to bring that knee close to the chair. I want you to have a little bit of glute involvement even when the knees have come down, or the knee has come down. Now your other leg, you want it slightly bent, always slightly bent when you're stabilizing. And you're gonna feel the other side, the other leg. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> All right, so shake that leg out, cause yeah, we gotta now do that with the right leg. So, same setup. I like to be on my forearms. If you're against a wall, you'll just kind of lean into the wall a little bit. Here we go. Bend that right leg, press the heel, bring it down, but don't completely bring it into a relaxed position when the knee lowers. Whew. 
Now there's a lot of other things going on too other than glutes. You've got some inner thighs activated, outer hips activated. Last few reps and then we'll grab onto one dumbbell only and stay here with our chair against the wall. Time, all right. So dumbbell in your left hand for me, please. Okay, and you're gonna take the left leg and just wrap it around the right. Softness in the right leg. From this position, you come up off of the heel and lower down for a calf raise. Lift up and down, good. So we're trying to make this movement only through the ankle. So once you've just got some softness in that stabilizing leg, in the knee, just hold it there. Don't worry about moving it all through the knee joint. You're coming up high, 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 high off of the heel and lower down. It's a great way to work the lower leg muscles, which are super important for our balance. Let's do one more rep. Woo! We don't do a lot of those in, in my workouts, do we? I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because it's just not a sexy muscle to work, right? The calves. All right, here we go. Other leg, and let's go. I guess it is if you wear skirts and shorts and dresses. So your goal is to try to come up as high off of the heel as you can. Now our next exercise is going to freak you out. So mini me is gonna be doing an alternative, but we're on our side. If you have a chair, you're going to have your right knee on top of the chair. So I just, just want, just telling you this to wrap it around. Otherwise, for those of you without a chair, you want the right leg on top. So you'll lie on your left side. One more, release. All right, so. You either lie on your left side or with me, inside of that bent right leg is here. Now, if you're with me, elbow under shoulder. Now you're gonna use the inner thigh and lift your hips up, keep the other leg still and lower halfway and lift up. This is brutal for the inner thigh of this top leg. Those of you that are doing the no chair version, you're actually working your left leg. So you'll see mini me doing that. For those of you not joining me here, make sure that you're leading with the heel. All right, up there. Whoo, baby. So this is called a Copenhagen. I don't know why. I researched it. <laughs> I guess somebody in Copenhagen developed it. That would be too simple, but it's usually the simple ones that whoo, are the answer. All right, now I'm going the other direction, so I have my back to you, sorry about that. Okay, those of you without the chair, you're just flipping over too. If you're with me, elbow under shoulder, all right. You're gonna push into the chair with that left knee now and lower down, good. So I'm, I've got some of my thigh on the chair too, not just the inside of my knee. So maybe bring more of the upper leg on the chair, see if it's a little more comfortable. But it's gonna push into you a little bit. But you wanna feel that, oh, inner thigh. Last two. One more. Nicely done. Interesting one, isn't it? All right, we're gonna get the chair out of the way. Grab onto your roll towel or your ball, place it behind or in between the knees, heels close to the bum so you can feel your heels with your fingertips. Squeeze the towel or the ball, lift into a bridge position. Now we're holding the static bridge while we squeeze the knees in towards the towel or ball and then release, squeeze in and then release. So this is double whammy for the inner thighs. With this bridge too, make sure that you're 
rib cage isn't flared up. I don't know if you can see that with me. All right, I want you to tuck it in a little bit and that means then that we are lifting through the glutes, not through your low back. That's a good one. All right, lying on your left side for me. Drop yourself down onto that bottom arm. Tilt the hips forward, press the top leg back, lead with the heel and lift up for a side leg lift. Now this bottom leg can be bent and I want you to roll onto this front arm to help support you. So a couple things here we really need to happen to work the proper muscle, which is our glute, gluteus medius, is the hip has to be pushed forward and the leg has to be pushed back. So we need to be in hip extension and then you need to lead with the heel. That isn't cute enough in a lot of workouts, especially on YouTube. Um, yeah, they just play their music and start doing some leg lifts. But there's some nuances, especially with this guy, where you either hit the outer hip, or most people, if you're doing it wrong, you're hitting TFL and hip flexor. One more. Oh, no, we got time for a couple more. All right, bring the knees in. Don't change anything. Come into a side plank, okay? I need to get rid of this. Sorry, I'll show you in a quick sec. Here we go. Now, as you lift out of your side plank, you're gonna lift the knee up and lower down, but don't rest when you lower. So it's a plank clamshell lift. So if you wanna make it harder, you'll just lower down halfway. It's not a really attractive exercise, I know, but I think you're feeling it. Are you feeling the love now? <laughs> All right, in 20 seconds, we'll do the other side. We'll start with that straight leg side leg lift though. We're almost there. Last couple of exercises. One more. Woo, all right, so. Remember, side leg lift, bottom leg's bent, top leg is straight and hip extension, that means press back, top hips forward, and then lead with the heel. Good. So if you cheat on me and do other people's workouts and they don't cue you that and they're gonna do this move, now you know how to do it right, okay? <clears throat> oh, she's a little toasty already, isn't she? <laughs> That's all right. One set. We can do anything for one set. Remember though, it's the multiple sets that really make the difference, especially if you've been exercising for a while. No repeats are a ton of fun to do every so often, but don't make it the main course for your workouts. Woo! Oh my goodness me. All right, here we go. Bottom elbow under shoulder. Okay, bottom arm bent. Remember, we lift out of the side plank and do that really attractive clamshell. Ready? Here we go. Lift up, feet stay together, open and come down. Make it harder. Just drop halfway. So that means that there'll be constant tension on that bottom glute med. And you're almost kind of squeezing your bum forward too as you lift up. Last few reps. Time, woo baby. All right, now. I wanna do that balance drill with you. So let's take off our shoes and socks. I almost didn't do this one because it's been months since I've had a pedicure. So we're not zooming into my ugly feet. I wouldn't do that to you, <laughs> but bare feet is going to help us. We wanna really connect with all of our toes on the ground, okay? So let's get the shoes off, the socks off. We won't stare at PJ's feet. 
Now, we also want a chair beside us. Barring that, a wall, okay? So let's have the chair or the wall on your right side. Cool? Okay. Now, I want you to be what we would call these tandem walks. So pretend you're, there's a tight rope right in front of you. And you want to place your right foot, so that's inside leg, forward, and have toe to heel of that back foot. You can have softness in the knees. That's totally fine. So now we've gotten rid of some support, right? When we have our feet hip width, we have a really good set of support. Now we've gotten rid of the support. All right, so the chair's there. The wall's there if you need it. All right. Now... What we can do is just add some arm swings. I know it looks really cheesy and like something you would think you would see in a senior's home, but it seriously is effective for working your balance. <laughs> do you feel those feet? All right, spread the toes. Really try to spread, put some space in between each toe. Good, last couple. And if you're like me hitting your chair, that's all right. One more. All right, now hands on hips. We're gonna make this a little harder. I want you to do a shoulder check. So I want you to take that head, look over your left shoulder, center, uh-huh, and right shoulder, center. So remember all those cues I've been giving you through the years, if you wanna focus on your balance, work your balance, stay balanced, focus on something stationary. So now we're doing the opposite. Can you feel those feet of yours fired up? One more each shoulder. Keep that tandem in the feet. And back to center. All right, now take this back leg. Okay, so we're gonna balance just on this right leg so we won't be mirroring, but take this back leg and swing it up and forward. Good, faster you go, the more challenging it is. We got 15, here's six. Softness in that stabilizing leg. <laughs> Whoop, I had to bail. Last four, three, two, one. Whoo, okay, so chair, wall, other side. Okay, left leg in front now. Right leg behind and you want that right toe touching your heel. Now spread the toes, okay? Grip the mat with your toes. Let go of your chair and note that one side could be a lot easier than the other. Okay, and then just add those swings. Still looking straight ahead though. We're just kind of manipulating our balance here, using our arms. Good. Try this after a few gin and tonics, huh? <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> Last three, <laughs> two, woo! Oh wow. And one, okay, seeing some challenges with me. Hands on hips, okay? Shoulder check, start with that right shoulder. Center, left shoulder, center. Wow, this is really interesting for me. This side is really hard. Remember, that wall or chair is there for you, okay? Last four. One more each side. All right, we're taking that back leg now, softening that front leg and swinging for one. Good, two, go a little faster, three, make it harder, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, whoo, eight, nine, 10, <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, hang in there, 15, woohoo, good job you. So maybe that opened your eyes or maybe you're like PJ, that was really lame. <laughs> if it was really lame for you, bravo, I'm proud of you. Okay, let's stretch the calf a little bit. We'll use the chair or the wall. Start with feet hip width, step back with the right leg for me, heel to ground and make sure that foot's in a straight line. Press the heel down and then lean into your chair or wall. This is just gonna be a really quick stretch because that series that we did, the balance series, if you're part of the 12 days of Christmas, that was one of our prehab exercises. 
If you haven't been a part of the series, basically what I'm doing in the 12-day series is adding a movement that we call in the fitness industry prehab, meaning taking an exercise that's going to, or a stretch that's going to either lengthen or strengthen an area that can commonly be injured, especially with those of us over the age of 40. So each session, we've focused on something else. Today's was balance. Here we go. Let's do the other side. So if you want to do a longer stretch, I totally get it, and I encourage that. And there are plenty of stretches here on the YouTube channel um, of mine. <laughs> and if you're on Over 50 Fitness, you know, we've got the stretch and mobility playlist as well as all of our yoga. And you'll have access to all those ads free. And release. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. Listen, you could really help this video out by clicking that like button so that the YouTube algorithm can find it and send it out to other people. And if you'd like to work with me further, there's a couple of ways you can down in the description if you're here on YouTube. First is on Patreon or come and join us over on Over 50 Fitness. Have a wonderful rest of your day and to my 12 days of Christmas challenges. We'll see you tomorrow for day five. Bye. Hey there, good looking. Are you looking for a no repeat leg strengthening workout? Something that's going to hit the thighs, the hips, the glutes, the hamstrings? Well, the hamstrings are part of the thighs. <laughs> yes, I know my anatomy.